If you watch some of my videos in the past on this lake, this is a San Diego County lake. This lake has northern strain bass, so they're quite aggressive. They don't get super huge, but it's definitely fun to catch them. Now on this lake, it's a barbless hook lake. So you will see me lose quite a few fish today. It's all good, we're out here for the fun of it. Today I'm on the Hobie Outback. I love this kayak for this lake. It's fast, I have all my gear that I need, and we'll be out here all day. So I'll be fishing a variety of war baits today. I'll explain how I'm fishing them, and you'll see me catching them. All right, let's get to fishing. Buzz bait. Yeah. <laughs> that fat little boy. <laughs> Nice looking fish. Look, he's kind of wide, kind of fat. Fishing that war baits black buzz bait. Lots of squeak, lots of noise. Beautiful. Huh? That was a bite, man. That thing came whizzing by my head like crazy. Let's go. Let's follow it up with something. Did. Oh, it's a little guy. <laughs> but that was sick. That was so cool. Sick. All right, the scenario, the scenario right there was I got bit with the buzz, missed it, went back in with a follow up bait, throwing that eighth ounce neck breaker and throwing that kicker PK3. That was cool. There we go. Oh, that was crazy. Dudes, I was just popping the bottom with this neck breaker. Oh my goodness. I might have unlocked a new technique. Oh, we came off. And there you go. <laughs> Remember that? They're gonna come off today. I was jigging the bottom with the bait, something a little different. We might have to fish the swim jig. Might be swim jig time. There we go. Not a big one, but we got one. Kind of fishing a few different things here. PK and the neck breaker. Eighth ounce are the one to, one to fish right now. Yeah, boy. Nice one. Nice one. <laughs> Dude, and that's it right there. See how easy that was? That's barbless. We're fishing barbless. Yeah. Nice northern strain bass right there. <laughs> cool, 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 cool. I'm cycling through my baits to find what is actually working the best. So maybe that mid column is where the fish want to be. Maybe they don't want to come up and smash that topwater buzz bait. So we'll keep after it with this and we'll keep after it with the little swim bait and we'll try some other baits as well. Stay with him. Try not to jump him off this time. Try not to jump him off. Be nice to have a net, right? Probably gonna jump him off. <laughs> yeah, buddy. All right, guys. <laughs> I think I found something here. Another nice one, that little PK3, that, that neck breaker and PK3, that real small bait fish presentation. <laughs> it's awesome, man.
This is it right here, guys. I'm using that Kicker PK3 in the cowboy minnow color. Things tearing them up. This lake has an abundance of shad, the main bait fish that's here. That bluegill crappie, some brim. But these bass mainly focus on all the shad. I'm running my little spinning rod set up here. It's a medium light, seven foot medium light. So I'm using the neck breaker, eighth ounce with a 2-0 hook. This is the stock way the bait comes. And I'm just gonna Texas rig it through the nose, spin it around. And before I put the hook in, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little, you can't really see it that well, but it's a little rubber keeper that you can buy. This is a, a Gamugatsu version. You can see it right there. So that's gonna go below the bait. And I'm gonna use it as a bait stop. So the hook is, it's, it's not buried into the bait, but it's pinched up against the body of the swim bait. So right there, that's my current presentation. Getting a lot of bites on this. Let's keep with it. There we go. The mid column stuff, guys. Nicest one of the day. Look at this thing. That's a chunk right there, boy. Chunk. This seems to be the bait right here. <laughs> nice one, dude. Solid fish. There it is right there. That's a nice one. Solid bass here on that eighth ounce neck breaker. We're doing it. <laughs> So, dude, these fish fight so hard for their size. This is a, that's a small fish, and he's pulling super hard. <laughs> hey, these bass are so warm too. 68 degree water. We're finding them on the swim jig now. Trying something a little different. Pulling up on these fish, like in a little deeper of water, like a 11 foot of water. what it is boys jump them off here there we go dude oh. okay came off it happens it happens that's what it is dude this little swim bait is killing it I think this is my bait for the day I'm just gonna keep with this thing I mean getting my bites <laughs> versus uh you know some of the other stuff like didn't seem like they wanted the buzz bait anymore <clears throat> haven't gotten any on the spinner bait but this little eighth ounce in that swim bait head the little eighth ounce neck breaker a little three inch bait must be what they um you know matching the hatch must be what they're used to in this area. There we go. Smaller guy, but we're getting something. Alright, got him that time. <laughs> Little dude. But hey, we're catching. That's what I like to see here. Some action. We want action. And that's two bites. I, I fished through this area with another bait already. I didn't get any bites. 
started throwing this thing, getting bites. <laughs> Swimming the jiggy. He came off again, my lord. Dude, that jump off is gnarly. Remember, guys, we're barbless here, so. <laughs> oh, man. Find them in a little bit deeper water. They're not really, they're on the shoreline, but they're not biting on the shoreline. They're like, uh, they're deeper. They're off the trees and I just need to be more patient and fish that, that deeper stuff. I mean, of course I just want to bang the targets and get the bites, but I'm gonna have to be patient and, and fish a little deeper. Right now I'm in 17 feet of water. I got that bite probably in 15. Just got the Warbaits 3.8 Roach and a craw presentation, just pretty simple stuff here. We're just trying to get bit on anything and if simple's working, that's perfect with me. There you go guys, got one out here. Hopefully I can keep them on. Oh, there you go. Jumped them off. <laughs> oh man, it's crazy. I've been seeing some bass, like bigger bass, like dart from the shore out so I've been uh, just started working the shoreline like parallel with the shoreline casting outward so maybe that's something I'm still trying to put this stuff together so let's keep with it better one guys not better one just bigger than the last one I had just had not a giant by any means but bigger than the last one I'm in a pocket I'm running the bank Throwing a little swim bait in there, getting bit. So, and I'm reeling fast too. So I'm trying to get that reaction strike right now. Really amazing fishing early morning and late afternoon. And typically those times are when the, the sun is low, you know, low light conditions and the fish really like to bite. Right now it's, uh, it's mid morning and the sun is up, not a cloud in the sky, bluebird, so fish are a little gun shy right now. But we're trying to get something, <laughs> trying to get something going. Got one, boys. I'm setting the hook on them now. Not a big one, but we're getting them. I've seen some big ones. That's a big one right there. Dude, there's some big ones in here. I don't know what to do about that. There's some big one. That was a big one right there. Let's try to park this thing. All right, little bass on the swim jig. Kind of changing it up a little bit, swimming a white swim jig around and got this bass to bite it <laughs> it's just about lunchtime right now and midday it gets hot and the fishing gets tough at least for me i can't always get them the way i like to get them and i didn't bring a variety of stuff like a lot of slow moving baits like sankos and drop shots i didn't bring any of that stuff so it's a little harder to get bit right now so i'm up on shore right now i just beached the kayak right there I'm just gonna do a little chill possibly do a little lunch and just relax a little bit. I have found several fish on beds. I just couldn't get them to go. There was one that was pretty agitated and it was hitting the jig and swiping at it, but I just couldn't hook him. Other than that, the, the lake looks good. There's a lot of fish in the lake. There's a lot of bass that I can visually see. The water's quite clear. And there's a lot of bluegill, big bluegill swimming around here. So, I mean, if you wanted to fish bluegill on a mini jig or something, be, you'd have an epic time. The water is pretty clear, so I'm assuming that this water has been stable for a while, but it is nice when the water's a little murky and dirty. It seems like this place bites a little better. You guys can see the water here, pretty clear. Outside of the boulders, there's a weed line and those bass seem to be in that weed line, not really on these boulders. 
All right, guys, here's the vessel I'm on today. This is the Hobie Outback with the 180 drive pedal system. Let's go ahead and take a look and see what is in the kayak. We have some extra EVA decking here. Put this on the kayak for more non-skid and to quiet the kayak down when baits, rods and reels and tools are hitting the kayak. Right here are the 180 drive pedal systems. You propel this with your legs and feet and then to go forward, you pull on this and to go reverse, you pull on this one and it engages the clutch here and it allows the drive to go forward or backwards. On this side is kind of my used and possible going to use bait pile and my tool area. And I also have lighting inside of this area. So at nighttime that lights up. In this compartment area, this is where my phone and speaker system go and some baits I'm going to use. This is the Lowrance Elite 7. Decent fish finder, but I think I'd like a uh, touch screen with side scan for this kayak. I have my front facing camera mounted on a ball into the track system. The camera itself is a GoPro 6. It's got the small road mic and I have that powered all the way down to a battery pack, external battery pack. So this camera will run all day long and film all day long, as long as you have some power. A very comfortable seat that has two height adjustments. Right now I have it on the highest setting. In the back I have a Hobie H crate and five fishing rods. And inside of the crate, I have my tackle storage system. Everything's labeled. Look behind me and grab what I need. Got more plastics here, but all of these are labeled. Got a few drinks. And on this side of the kayak is my GoPro arm that captures most of the hook sets. It's a very similar setup to the one in the front and also runs on an external battery pack. And in the back, I have a full-size cooler and it's got all my water, drinks, and food in it. So you can see that the kayak is pretty kitted out right now. I have everything I would need for a full adventure. And in the front hatch, I have extra clothing, my battery, and my drift sock. If you guys have any questions about this kayak, drop them in the comment section below or DM us on Instagram and we can answer those questions. Both Lane and myself, we both have Hobies. Lane has a Pro Angler 12 360 drive and I, I'm currently on this Hobie Outback 180 drive. And if you want to pick up a kayak or do a test drive, check out Fast Lane Kayaks down at Mission Bay, family owned business, and they'll take care of you. It's hot as heck out here. I just had some lunch, had a little smoked salmon and rice, some gourmet stuff out here on the water. So on another rock here, I'm just kind of hopping from rock to rock, shore to shore. I'm kind of messing around right now because fishing is pretty difficult. <laughs> But from shore, I've hooked several fish. I just, I can't get them in. They keep flipping off, keep jumping off the hook. And I wanna show you guys like, hey, from shore I can catch them too, but uh, hopefully eventually I catch one. Let me show you how, where I'm parked at right now. Check it out, here's a big boulder across the lake here. Little cove, I'm gonna check that out. It looks fishy, big boulder. And I'm just squeezed right in here. So I don't get blown off the lake. There's the rest of the lake. It's got more nooks and crannies, I think, than the other spot, but you never know. You never know how it's gonna fish. So yeah, kayak is here and we're chilling. We're gonna make some casts and hopefully we can get some more fish. Good one, guys. Big one, big one, big one, come on. Stay on, stay on, please stay on. Keep him pinned, keep him pinned. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that fish. Dude, awesome. Solid fish. <laughs> Look at that right there. I'm still on that neck breaker, eighth ounce, and that kicker PK3. Look, so easy to come out. 
Dude, I'm so happy to get a fish like this. This is a solid one. Let's go ahead and put this one back in close to the same area in which we caught it. There we go. He's gonna jump. He's actually digging, he's digging. How big is this thing? Holy moly, yeah, good one. Try not to lose him. <laughs> there we go. Dude, that was awesome. That was awesome. So sick, in the grass, spinning gear. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is my bait of the day right here, guys. Fresh or salt, we're catching bass with it. <laughs> yeah, nice one. That was such a fun bite. So it's been a really good stretch right here for fish, so happy about this one. Let's get them in. is doing really well. The lake's really healthy right now. Some bass are post-spawn and some bass are just starting to get into that right now. So thanks for all the support you're giving Warbaits on this channel. We are growing and it's because of you. Our online store is busy daily. Largemouth bass fishing is starting to go around the country. So we're seeing a lot of those types of baits leave our shop. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. And as always, get out there, go fishing, hook that giant.